So welcome to Thoughts from a Car. My name's Carl, and again, I'll be your host for the duration of the video. Wednesday, 14th of August, 2013, I'm on the way to work. I've tried two different roads to get there, and I'm still having difficulty. You may or may not be able to hear a slight ding, ding, ding in the background. We've talked frequently about the train tracks that you see here, and uh, today we're going to talk about the trains. This is what's going on. Enjoy this trip. I'm just going to get out the car. <clears throat> Here we go. Beautiful countryside, as you can see, all the way around. But well, what you can't really see, because it's not all that visible, is that annoying noise. It's caused by this. And they really are a mile long. That's where I need to be. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm not going to get. So, uh, it's like I'm just going to sit in the car and listen to some tunes because I ain't going anywhere for a while. Oh well. Call into work, tell them I'll be late. I can do that. I like working here. I'm not going to get yelled at for being late. Isn't that great? Because this is beyond my control. Anyway, I'm going to put that. Oh, 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 it just started moving. There you go. There she goes. Woohoo! So whatever the problem was seems to be getting fixed. So all I need to do now is sit here while the rest of the train... Oh boy. Catches up. I hope it speeds up. These things take some getting going, as you can imagine. There's a lot of strength of engine behind that, and can't set off too quick, or it just yanks those couplings apart. This is stuff that's going backwards and forwards to the US and Canada, across the border. So this whole thing goes over there. It is not unknown of for people to jump on board and use these as border crossings. It's not unknown of for people to fall off and die horribly. It's not unknown of for them to get caught and arrested and put into jail for indeterminate lengths of time. Basically because they're stupid, although they do eat Pringles apparently. I'm going to go sit back in the car. This could take some time. It's only about another mile of it to come. A long time? A little while, yeah. I went up to the last one. <coughs> this is my third crossing. Yeah. So, uh, oh, that's good. Some graffiti. Maybe five minutes. Okay. So there you go. As you can see from the... Uh, passing trucks, they get some very interesting graffiti, some of it's just your regular tags, but when these things are parked up overnight, they're not exactly put in local laybys because they're a mile long, sometimes more. Um, so they sit in sidings way outside town, and it's a good place to hang out and have fun and, you know, misbehave as you do when you're kids. And uh, some of these kids are pretty talented with the tags that they put on there. Anyway, there you go. So while we're waiting for this to go past, what else can I talk about? Upcoming weddings, we can talk about that again. Or we can just uh, talk about work. work. It's very boring again. We can talk about the newspaper. Or we can talk about the fact that I'm going to photograph a band tomorrow night. Um... Uh, yeah, I took some shots at my local bar while they were playing, and they really liked them, so they said, hey, you're good, why don't you come and photograph us at the next concert? So, I got the invite for that, press pass, etc. Should be fun. As usual, photos will be up on Facebook. I'll put them, let's start using my Flickr account again. Because Facebook really doesn't do this kind of stuff justice. 
you notice while I'm talking, same train, still going past. I've no idea how far down the train we were, as you saw it went both directions, so it could be that we're halfway down there, it could be that we're just at the beginning or near the end, I really don't know, I couldn't see the end of either train, uh, either end of the train. Still, there you go. Plans for today, I have some banner headline graphics to do for another website for work, one of the group, a company called Versaform. We're rebuilding that and we're uh, going to relaunch it sometime in the next couple of weeks. The old one is just too out of date, it needs to be ripped down and rebuilt. So I'm in the process of doing that and uh, working with my uh, US counterpart, Corey, to, um, he's a sales director and uh, ultimately responsible for it. Um, anyway, rambling. Train's still going past, but you can see that. I should guess I'll take this opportunity to put my seatbelt back on because I'm a law-abiding citizen who's already got a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt, so I don't want another one. Do you think I'm making this up when I talk about the train tracks? It's not just how rough the train tracks are. When you get stuck by the train, you really get stuck by the train. As I said earlier, I'm fortunate enough that I don't have to check in and check out. Uh, I get paid on a 40-hour week, so if I'm a few minutes late, I work a few minutes late. No big deal. <sighs> Very boring, but you know that. The minute this goes, I'm going to head off like a bat out of hell, because I am starting to think that I'm wanting to stop for breakfast on the way, grab a sandwich, and uh, that means another couple of minutes delay. Anyway, all this stuff could be going anywhere in the US. Um, Niagara Falls being on the border, it's the crossing point for all the freight. Well, all the freight that goes by rail, anyway. Of course, there's lots of uh, ship-based freight, as we've seen in other videos coming through the Welland Canal. Hmm. Hydrochloric acid. Ooh, exciting. You see what I mean? When I, I, was I exaggerating about the length of this train? Come on, still going. Dum de 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 dum. Tell you what I'm doing at the moment, or what I was doing before I broke this video out. I was listening to an audio book. I love audio books. I enjoy it more than music these days, to be honest. Basically, dramas with dozens of people and lots of audio production, music, sound effects. It's a play, basically, for the ear. And I'm listening to a bunch of stuff from a company, production company called Big Finish. Big Finish Productions. And that's the end of that train. There you go. And off we go. So. <coughs> so there you go. Big Finish Productions specialize in sci-fi audio. I have a range of franchises. Oh, and there's the train again crossing there and there's the backup because I came the other way around uh, audio productions they, they're licensed by the BBC and various other outlets so what they're doing is they're releasing a massive series of audio books based on Doctor Who I'm a Doctor Who fan many people out there are so stop laughing and um, they write original stories and use the original cast. So all the old doctors that are still alive, that is, um, are there again. Peter Davidson, Tom Baker, Sylvester McCoy, Paul McGann. They're all contributing to audio-only versions of the, um, the Doctor Who canon of literature. And they're very good stories. They're well worth listening to. I mean, they stand alone. 
The only thing people think about Doctor Who is that although overall each one has to fit within the time frame, uh, the Doctor's personal timeline, as it were, and if everyone is freestanding, you can film anything at any time. And you can slot new stories in between because you're five seconds between this one and the next one, right? So it comes back in time, overlaps and all that kind of good stuff. Very complicated. And I like complicated because it makes you think and I like to think. Anyway, I can recommend it. Big Finish Productions, Doctor Who, they also do a bunch of other things. Uh, they're, they're doing Darth... No, no not Darth Vader. Um, Judge Dredd. And they're doing Tomorrow People and... Oh, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. But there are hundreds of them, and they're very good. I'm actually going back and listening through the entire back catalogue because uh, it's, they're that good. Anyway, enough of this. I'm going to ramble on no more. I'm going to get off the phone and... Uh, ramble on. I'm going to get off the video and say thank you again for watching. I'm going to take a nice easy cruise home for the next uh, 10 minutes before I get to work. And look at this wonderful scenery behind me. I've just passed the golf course and yeah, it's a good place to be. Anyway, not a golf course people, there you go. Can you see them? Don't know. Hey! Why on earth you'd want to watch a golf course? I don't know. I hadn't planned on making this video. I uh, just ripped out the phone when I got to the crossing for the second time. I was three blocks over. I tried one crossing and the cars were all backed up, so I doubled back, went across, came back up, went back and across. So, yeah. Anyway, ain't enough of this. I'm going to say thanks for watching, thoughts from a car, my name's been Carl, usual stuff, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. All the best and goodbye for now.